briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1994, a commercial tussle over a high-altitude deal ignited a spark in U.S. legal history with the case of Betaco Inc. v. Cessna Aircraft Company, which rose to the United States Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit. At the heart of the dispute sat a Citation jet, a sleek aircraft from the renowned Cessna Aircraft Company, and a hefty deposit of $150,000 from aerospace company Betaco Inc. Eager to harness the jet's advertised superior range, Betaco dove into the purchase agreement. But post the down payment, their wings were clipped. Confronted with the realization that the Citation jet lacked its promised range, Betaco pulled the plug on the purchase, only to be met with a stonewalled refusal from Cessna to return their deposit. Undeterred, Betaco became plaintiffs, suing Cessna for allegedly breaching an express warranty regarding the aircraft's range. This led them to their first legal triumph in the district court, which awarded Betaco damages. But the twist in the tale was yet to come. Cessna, reluctant to concede defeat, put the wheels of appeal into motion. The Seventh Circuit Court shifted the gears of justice, flipping the district court's verdict on its head. In their view, resolving the case required more than just a surface evaluation. It needed a factual hearing to establish the primary intent behind the party's agreement. A jury trial followed, engendering a murky verdict. Victory for Betaco on one count, while defeat on another. The case, now rendered complex, pivoted on one particular aspect. The agreement's full integration and the admissibility of any extraneous evidence. On this basis, the Court of Appeals ordered a remand of the case for a comprehensive bench hearing regarding the integration issue. Devised on the outcome of that hearing, the ultimate fate of the case hung in the balance. This case, in underlining the significance of an agreement's integration, set a new precedent for the interpretation of contractual terms amidst conflict, and the provision of Rule 36 was not applicable here due to the ambiguity in discerning if the contract fully embodied the agreement. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.